Good morning, farmers. It has been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> From what I saw on loading up the game, it's been almost a month uh, since I've been last playing Farmer's Dynasty, so I'm going around just checking some things out because I really don't remember where I kind of left off. Um, this episode here is kind of be a mixture of a day on the farm and also an update on the game itself, which is kind of new news, but it's also been old news. Uh, I didn't bother rushing out a video on the new news because, uh, yeah, it's it's news, but uh, we don't really have that much information to go on other than a short little post that Toplist put out. But uh, we'll go over that here in just a second. Uh, I'm going around checking the beehives. I don't expect the beehives to have any honey in them because the previous day it was raining, so the bees would not be out uh, to gather the honey. But they're out today, so maybe... Uh, nope, that says pick up turnip. Uh, nope, tulip, not turnip. I, I got turnips on my mind, and you probably know why already. Um, hello, how are you two doing? You enjoying the water coming down from from the, the cow slurry? Uh, that does remind me, uh, how much slurry do I have here? All right, so we're fine there. We'll come on over here. Uh, James needs a fish. My wife is already in the kitchen cooking. Good for her. Uh, let me go down here. I'm just checking the bee, like I said, checking the beehives, because... It's what I do, uh, just to make sure. All right, so I'll head on down to the dock, and I'll do some fishing. Hey, Ronnie, how, how's how's it going? Uh, he looks like a plow, a plowed. He, <laughs> I got plowing on my mind as well. I was thinking about taking a plowing contract. Um, yeah, he looks like a proud rooster up there. He, he should. He's the only uh, male with, like, uh, 20 females running around. Uh, anywho, let's go down here to the dock. And while we're down here to the dock trying to catch a fish for James... Yeah, so you probably have heard, if you have not heard, um, there's going to be a DLC coming to Farmer's Dynasty in the future. Uh, no no ETA on said DLC, but the DLC is going to be, um, we're going to be able to plant and harvest potatoes and turnips. Just looking for the fish, they're over here. So, um, oh, that was quick. Uh, so while I'm fishing here, I'll pop up on the screen. One of the pictures, first of all, that looks like the harvester. Hopefully, I'm putting it up on the screen now and you're seeing it. I don't forget. Uh, but there's a picture of the harvester. Uh, I, I assume it does the potatoes and turnips together. Both crop, I would assume. And uh, this picture next to it I'm going to put down is going to be a different cedar that you have to get to do potatoes and turnips. So, uh, I, I'm supposing that you're not going to be able to do either or until you buy the new cedar. I'm going to guess the cedar that you get during the quest at the beginning will not be able to do potatoes and turnips. Now, um, I mean, this is great news. Uh, more crops is always better. It gives you more variety. Uh, I know, like I said, more ways to make money. Uh, but, the, yeah, it's it's this kind of interesting. The only question I had, uh, because, uh, you know, playing Farming Simulator, where did my fish go? Yeah, now, now I'm looking for the fish. Ah, they're over here. Um, yeah, so... These kind of crops you just don't put into a silo. So are they going to allow us to put these crops in the silo? Or or what's the deal? Um, the only other thing I can think of is we do have a spot in the garage where we store a crop in the upstairs. So I'll show you here in a second if I can catch a fish. Yeah, you know what? I got enough fish here. James will be happy. Uh, let's go give James his fish. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, yeah, just want to make sure James is happy. Don't want him running off. I know Rex will not run off. Did Rex? Yeah, Rex is still stuck down by the fireplace. So, uh, he can stay there. Where? Where's James? James? Oh, James, there you are. Went right. No, I don't want to sit in the bench. I want to. There we go. And now he's happy. So, I, I, I suppose if we're done correctly, uh, we would have to use this silo right here which will store the crop. And if you haven't used it yet, this is where it goes. Uh, honestly, I don't use it either. So, uh, But you can see where the crop will be piled up on the floor. So I assume we could pile our potatoes and turnips up here. Um, you don't want to put them into a silo. But I don't know what their plan is for us uh, right now at all. So the other thing, other news that kind of came out, and it, and uh, let's see if, see if I can get a decent view of something. I yeah, will watch my wife... Um, hold the yard or whatever she's doing finally we want to ensure you that the team behind farmers dynasty is also working hard on the console update and the nintendo switch version regarding the nintendo switch version on farmers dynasty 
we can confirm that has gone through and passed testing with the Nintendo. We are now working on our publishing partner and selling, setting up a release date. We are also working on the console update too, making sure that our Farmer's Dynasty console players will receive the same perks as PC users. We will keep you updated on the progress of it all. And of course, they just go on. If you have any questions or thoughts about the DLC, um, to write a comment on their page. So the other thing that went out, I didn't know this was even a thing, but um, uh, Deuce, who you can find his YouTube channel on my homepage, and I'll put the link to the description to his video uh, in the link below. Uh, yeah, he went over some of this stuff, but I did not know that uh, some of the console players were thinking or have been led to think that they're going to have to pay for updates. Uh, that is not true. The updates uh, coming up, they're all going to be free. There's no charge to you. But the DLC that we're talking about, the Potato and Turnip DLC, I'm pretty pretty sure that's not free. Uh, we're all going to be paying for that. So um, I'm hoping, and uh, this is just my guess, I, I'm going to assume, and I hope it's, you know, I, this is no concrete information. This is my opinion I'm giving here. I would assume that we should, probably should expect the console update first before we get the DLC. It kind of makes sense in that regard. So, um, yeah, there's no, in this post, there's no date set for when the DLC is coming. There's no dates for when the console updates are coming. There is no date on here for when the N Nintendo Switch version of the game will be released. There are no dates here. So this is why I just didn't jump in and put out a video because um, the only news was that there's a DLC coming, but there's no dates here whatsoever at all. Uh, so, yeah, I did not know that there was an issue uh, with uh, people thinking on console that you had to pay for updates that are coming to the game. Uh, no, you don't have to pay for any updates uh, from what you see. And I do get a lot of questions uh, on some of my videos of how come I can't uh, paint my tractor certain colors or um, where do I find this, uh, where do I find that. If you're playing on console... And you don't know this yet. A lot of the things that I play on PC, a lot of things you see here will be coming. Uh, I should, let me rephrase that. They're going to try to get into the console version, which I, as far as I know, I haven't heard anything that they said that they try to get this on console and can't get it on console. So as far as I know, everything that you have seen, uh, what I do in my videos, will be coming to the console version at some point. And that's as, as of this date. I haven't heard anything that they said that, no, they can't get this in the game or they can't get that in the game. Um, actually, what I'm talking about, I need to change the color of this tractor. Uh, no, I want to detach it. I guess so used to being, uh, load into the game and everything being attached. And so if I pull up here and hit enter on the console version, um, far as I understand that you don't, don't have to where you can paint your tractors as of yet. And right now I'm just picking some odd bod color like I always do. There we go. That's actually not a bad uh, looking tractor right now. And yeah, the pure black wasn't working with me anyways. I'm going to go ahead and park that over. So as for my videos on Farmer's Dynasty, um, yeah, probably won't have any more videos for just a little while still. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a break from the game. I've been playing it for over two years or so, and I needed a break. And now I was getting ready to bring it back in April, which it is now. But knowing that there's a DLC coming, I'm kind of in the mix of the point of if I continue going on as I am, um, I'm going to be planting canola soon and I won't have time for the potatoes and turnips. Uh, so right now my plan is uh, still take a couple week, more weeks off after this. Uh, the break has been nice from Farmer's Dicey. I've only been back in the game now, well, talking with you for the past 10 minutes or so. And um, yeah, it's actually kind of nice to get back in the game kind of Get the situation where I'm in. Uh, we are in July. All of our fields are set. I can probably do one more harvest before the winter comes and have to take care of that. So that's why I'm kind of on. I'm kind of on hold here just for a moment, uh, doing more work on Farmer's Dynasty here on the farm. And uh, yeah, the wife is probably like me, not uh, bugging her as much. Uh, she needs to get to cooking. So uh, yeah, just a small video today. Uh, I you know at first I was going to do a day on the farm, but I, I figured I'd need to talk about the uh, the updates and uh, the DLC a little bit. And like I said, uh, Deuce MS, uh, he did a pretty good darn video on the Dynasty updates, all the Dynasty games. So if you're interested in 
Medieval's Dynasty, um, Lumberjack's Dynasty, from my understanding, early access for that should be coming out. Uh, I think they said in, in mid-April. Um, we'll have to wait and see, so that's a couple more weeks. Uh, there's Lumberjack's Dynasty, Medieval's Dynasty. There's another one out there. I know I'm forgetting right now, and uh, someone can probably leave a comment below what it is. Um, but there's actually more games. I know they're working on a Trucker's Dynasty game as well. Uh, but Medieval's Dynasty should be coming out uh, sometime in 2020. Lumberjack's Dynasty will be coming out early access uh, within the next month, I think, from what they're saying. And even on their Discord channel, they got some uh, general discussion pages for uh, bug fixes for or bugs that we find during Lumberjack's Dynasty. So I'm guessing they're, they're gearing up for the release of Lumberjack's Dynasty pretty soon. Um, when that game does come out and I can get my hands on it, yeah, we'll be digging into that. So, like I said, you know, uh, Farmer's Dynasty may be taking a back seat. Probably for a little bit because Lumberjack's Dynasty would be out and I'll be going full bore on that. Um, I wonder if I'll find Allison there. W w are you in Lumberjack's Dynasty? Uh, by that look, maybe she is. Uh, we'll have to find out. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, check out Deuce's uh, video down below. He, like I said, he'll talk about those games a little bit more. And he also go into details showing you probably a little bit more detail about the potato turnip DLC coming out. Uh, he'll go over more also on the Medieval Dynasty. And I think he even touches on the Lumberjacks Dynasty a little bit as well. So yeah, I just wanted to bring you up to date on what's going on with the game and the DLC. Uh, I know some people were wondering when's the console updates coming. Yeah, they're, they're just not giving us any concrete dates, which is I'm fine with, but... Uh, at least they did put something else there, like they're still working on it. And it's good to know for you Nintendo Switch players waiting for it to come out. Uh, it has passed through testing with Nintendo. So it's just uh, them getting through their with their publisher and I think uh, trying to figure out maybe a, a, a way to publish. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I don't want to say nothing that's going to make people say, well, Peanut said this and everyone goes off and, and think that's what I say is set in gold because... Nothing I say is set in gold, and my wife will agree with you that uh, I'm always full of crap anyways. Um, yeah, so just a quick update on the game itself, the updates, and the DLC coming out sometime soon. Uh, I am just wondering, the, the only thing I warned about is, are we going to be able to store the potatoes and turnips in a silo, which you're not really supposed to do, but I guess uh, they're going to have to go up into that one, or, or something. Uh, who knows, maybe they'll sneak in... Maybe then tell us everything that's in the DLC. Maybe it's just more than a tractor. I mean, not a tractor, sorry. Maybe it's more than a harvester and a seed roll. Uh, but that's where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. This is, like I said, a quick update. Um, if there's any concrete news on dates or whatever, um, like me getting some social points for my flowers in the front yard, uh, I'll let you know. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time right here in Farmer's Dynasty. But until then... Have a good one.